Well, when the report got back to me that, um, do you need to use mm -hmm. this bag? I was very confused and concerned when the report came back that this morning we lost a hundred and... 124 euros and 40 cents. Yeah. Um, Usually our budget is about a hundred euros a week to, to keep in budget. And for the lighthouse, <laughs> the lighthouse tax, it just doesn't seem right because... Yeah, so, well, the idea behind the lighthouse tax is the further you sail, the more you use lighthouses, and then, therefore, you pay a higher tax for them. So, it, it's socialism. I mean, they, they tax everything possible here. If we were just going to stay here, the lighthouse tax would be 10 euros, mm -hmm. because that's the smallest one if you're just, just around the island. If you're sailing from here to Madeira, it's 35 euros. If you sail from here to mainland, it's 70 euros. And say you just pay the 10 euros because you tell them, no, I'm just going to stay around here. And then you show up in Lisbon. At Lisbon, they're going to be like, oh, 70 now. So you better <laughs> just pay it all at once because you, your 10 that you pay doesn't count towards your 70. You then have to pay it all again. So even though we are just sitting here on the hard, not using lighthouses, we owed 70 euros because we crossed the ocean to get here. And because and in the next because year... Because we're going to be yeah. going to Lisbon to Lisbon. And then the the really annoying part was like super early in the morning they bang on the hall I come out and there's like a bunch of cops <laughs> I got freaked out. I'm like oh crap. And they're like are you this boat? And it was some other boat. Not us. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have a name on our boat so I had no proof right away to all these cops with guns that no I'm not whoever they're very angrily looking for. So that scared me. <laughs> so if you paint your boat, get a name on it fast. Even if it's a post-it note, I don't care. Like, just something. Uh, but what they were, they ended up um, needing all of our stuff, and yeah. that's where the binder came in. So, yeah, the binder came in. Binder saved my butt. Saved my stern. Because I just handed them the binder. It had everything that we had. Everything, just all of it. All the information. And thankfully, our documentation paper says our name. So I could prove I wasn't whoever it was with an M that they were looking for. But... They gave me this paper and said, take, take this, this to the Marina's office. office. There's, There's a, a custom, custom agent, agent in there. there. And then he's going to charge you whatever it is. And then after you pay him, come see me and then I'll stamp it. I'm like, okay. So I went. I paid. I go see him. I get told I did the wrong thing. <laughs> so apparently that was the lighthouse tax, not the engine tax. So there's an engine tax on top of the lighthouse tax. And the engine tax is fun. To pay... Alright, so the way the engine tax works, if you are here in January, you now owe an engine tax for the year. For that year. So if you arrive February 1st and leave December 31st, you pay no tax. If you're here just the month of January, you're paying the engine tax. So if you're planning a trip through here and it's going to be a short one, don't come here in January because you're going to have to pay... a a big tax. So that tax is really hard to pay because apparently to pay any tax on the island, I have happiness on my face. To pay any tax on the island, you need a uh, num. I'm gonna try it in Portuguese. Numero do compre. The not happening. It's your financial number on the island. It's your tax number. So anytime you pay taxes, you don't pay taxes to a name. You pay taxes to a number. So. In Luckily, order, we had that number. Yeah, to get that number, you need to have a sponsor on the island, come to that office in person, wait through a really long line with you, and then sign their name and just vouch for you, and then you get that number. Without that number, you can't pay the tax. If you don't pay the tax, your boat is arrested by the customs agents, so Tangolite's confiscated, and you're screwed. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> that really sucks in the month of January. So... If you plan on being here during January, get that number, make a friend, get that number, like, pronto, first thing you do, because it'll make everything so much easier. So, with that number, they then enter your boat's gross tonnage, which is on your documentation paper, and your engine's power. In our case, we're 20 kilowatts, because we're an electric motor. If you're diesel, your horsepower. 
the they punch into this computer and it spits out a number. For us, 16 tons and 20 kilowatts is 54 euros and 40 cents. Our neighbor behind us was something around 210 euros. He's huge. And he has a giant motor. Yeah, he's 88 horsepower. So that's some stuff that so all we, banged on the hall. So with all this bad luck, we kind of lucked out because our motor is so small and weak. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Yet another reason to get an electric motor. <laughs> a tiny electric mm -hmm. motor. Now, fun fact, if your motor is less than 20 kilowatts, you pay no tax. So, if you're looking at a 10 kilowatt or a 20 kilowatt motor and you plan on cruising through any of Europe, mm -hmm. do that. Now, the fun part, this is going to haunt us every year in every country because apparently this is an EU thing. And when you go to Spain, if you are there for X number of time, you have to pay the taxes again. And you have to hold on to these papers for five years because if you come back... I don't remember exactly why <laughs> they told me hold on to them for five years. So since we're going to hit the Cape Verde Islands on our way back across the Atlantic, at some point, probably within the next five years, they're Portuguese islands, so we need these papers. Because otherwise, uh, they told me to keep them. So... Save everything. Save, yeah, Portugal loves its papers. <laughs> and they, they love their papers so much that they told us that on our documentation page that I keep in this little nifty binder, on the other side, to keep their thing and the receipt of their thing. So I, we got their little stamp. Hey, it's got my number on it. Cool. All right, so keep this, keep, keep everything. If they give you papers in Portugal, hold on to them. Uh, at the hardware store, when you buy literally a box of screws, you get four receipts. <laughs> four. <laughs> Why? I don't know. And the guy thinks it's hilarious, too, the clerk. Because, like, it prints out the first thing. like, uma, dois, três, e quatro. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Staples three together, and he gives me the two sets. And he's like, go to the cashier. She doesn't keep any of them. She gives you all four. <laughs> and I looked at them. There are four I identical pages. So they, they love their paper here. So that's how we started our day today. Yep. 124 euros less. Many walks. Mm -hmm. Because everything is far here, far there. Oh, and none of these places take card. You have to pay in cash. Cruising's fun. The paperwork kind of sucks. But This is the things... stuff you don't really think about. And a lot of channels don't really cover this kind of stuff. Yeah, a lot of them, it's just the, the bikinis and beers and sitting on a beach. But it's like, no, a lot of cruising is paperwork and walking. <laughs> Lots of walking. Paperwork, money, and stress. But it's all worth it. Yeah, yeah. Like, like these these pastry things, they're, it's written, if you speak Spanish, it's written like ferradura. If you speak Portuguese, apparently a double R is a sound, so it's fechadua. And if you speak English, they're those chocolate log things that are delicious. Like, so good. Is there any left of mine? Yeah, I haven't eaten it. Mm, good. Just take a bite. They look like this, and they're about a euro. Hey, you're making a mess. Mm. Um, Just take a bite. Turn off the camera. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.